It is really nice to see you one more time. Uh, thanks for always being on time. I appreciate that. And well, we are going to have a, a new day, a new topic, right? So thank you so much once again for coming or for attending to the class. And uh, well, today is our 11th class. So we just have five classes left. And then we will be done with this module. So uh, I hope every one of you is doing okay. And well, for today, we are going to have something very different than the things that we saw yesterday. But before we start, I would like to ask you, do you remember what are the three questions that we can ask in order to know uh, in a sentence, what is or where or what is in that, in that case, the adjective? What are the three questions that we can ask or that we can ask ourselves? Hello? Which one? Which one? What else? What kind? What, 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 kind? what kind? What kind? How many? And uh, how many? Okay, very good. So, um, what one? Do you remember how many types of adjectives do we have in it? Uh -huh. Small. No, how many types? How many categories do we have? Eight. Eight. Can you tell me one of the categories that we have? Like mention to me someone, someone of the categories that we saw yesterday. Do you remember any of them? Opinion. Opinion, very good. What else? Size. Size, very good. Physical quality. Physical qualities, very good. Age. Age. Okay, great. Age. Color, Shape. material. Color, materials. Origin. Origin. Purpose. Purpose, okay, right. So I think that it was very clear. So guys, I want to congratulate you because I I have been checking the platform and I have noticed that you are working on that. So thank you so much for that, guys. And well, today we will have something, as I said, something completely different than the things that we saw yesterday. But I'm pretty sure that most of you already know about this. So um, we're going to start. Um, today we're going to see the food pyramid, food pyramid, and uh, we're going to try to try to understand the way that we have uh, we have to get our food and things like that. So as I was telling you before, guys, we just have five.
classes left. And after that, the module will be finished. So, well, time is passing by, right? So we're going to start with these guys, but first of all, I will like your participation as a group. So we can see what participants did. My God. Oh, I bet. All right, so guys, where do you think I should place all these things? The ones that I have on the on the on the right on the left, I'm sorry. Um, where can I put it on the, on the pyramid? Can someone of you help me so we can try to do this together as a group? Can you place the food groups correctly? Where do you think they supposed to be? At the top, in the middle, at the bottom, or where? For example, if I have here, like uh, cereals, like, um, but if I have uh, pastas, potatoes, bread, and rice, where should I put that? Donde debería poner? In, in group one, cereal, pasta, pot potatoes, bread, and rice. So this one will be right here? No, um, is um, is uh, down. At the first part, All right? Let me try to put it down. Right. So this one, the first one, it will be right, right here. Am I correct? Yes. What about the fruits, vegetables? Does anyone else know or can you guess where should we put it? Fats and sweets in the first. So when you said on the first, do you mean in the same place where I put the cereal, pasta, potato? No, uh, fat and sweets is the first group. So do you mean here? Yes. All right. Okay, cool. What about fruits and vegetables? Where should I put fruits and vegetables? Uh, For me, say... fruit and vegetable and the first uh, so, position. So for you, this one should be here. Right here. No, the, the first no, down. The second. Down. Second. Second. Yeah. Oh, the second one. All right. Let's see. So fruits and vegetables is going to be right here. Okay. Mm. What about milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter? What about that? Where should I place that? Milk and uh, second. Milk, cheese, yogurt. So when you say second, you mean this part right here? Yeah. All right, cool. So and the last one, obviously, is going to be in this place. All right. Mm. Change that. So it will be right here. So we're going to see if that's correct. Let me try to check that out. All right. So this is what we have right here. Meat, fish, eggs uh, is second. Second above. Right. So as you can see, the first one or the one at the top, they are fats and sweets. 
And here we said at the top. Okay, we got that one. That was very good. How about meat, fish, and eggs? That one is place number two, and we say number three. So this was not correct. How about milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter? We say number two, and should be number three. Fruits and vegetables, they are okay. So they were placed in a very good place. And the last one, cereal, pasta, tomatoes, bread, and rice. It was really well placed. So guys, as you can see today, we're going to see uh, like kind of those details or we're going to learn um, the way that we should, the way that we should like, be, like being healthy, right? So we're going to try to learn like some vocabulary about some foods or the placement of the food when it comes to the, with the food pyramid. So we're going to learn that today. I know that this is not very common, like, but the vocabulary, this, like kind of this vocabulary are like very commonly used. For example, like every single day we go to the store, right? We try to get some eggs, we try to get some um, cheese, we try to get some vegetables or even some cereal. We just go to the to the stores like every single day. But let me see here. So we're supposed to have like one, two, three, four, six, like six pillars, the main ones that we have in the food pyramid. And the first one, it will be considered as the grains. Number two, it will be placed the vegetables. Number three, fruits. Number four, oils. Number five, milk. And the last one, the meat and beans. So we're going to try to find out some information about this. And here we have the first part that we're going to see, it is the grains, and I will need some help to read that. Can someone help me with that? Reading all this part. Hello. Leer, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Grains make out of your grains world. Some examples of grains are oatmeal, wheat, rye in barley. Wally grain wheat bread is better for you than white bread. Cereals are grains like cereals, mini wheats in bread flakes. Children shall have six servings of grains a day. Okay, very good. So as it says over there, the grains, we have some examples of grain. Do you know what an oatmeal Oatmeal means? Guys. Ojuelas, tal vez? Yeah, that will be something like that. Ojuelas or avena. That will be the, the closest meaning to that. So then we have with, that that will be trigo, right? That will be como, uh, we, it, this is not that common here in El Salvador. We don't have this like very common. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what's going on with my internet today. It doesn't want to work that well. So as I was saying, but um, 
we have rye. The rye means uh, centeno. This grain is not that common in El Salvador. I didn't even know what was that even in Spanish. But verily, we, do, we have verily, we do have that. Verily is cebada. That's the meaning of, uh, of those type of grains in Spanish. But for the ray one, it's not a common in El Salvador. I don't know if some of, some one of you have heard about Centeno, but for me, it is the first time that I hear that. So um, as you can see here, it says that a whole grain with bread is better for you than the white bread. Cereals are grains like cheerios, mini widths, and bread plates. So what we're supposed to have uh, in our diet or something like that, it will be six times a day so we can have uh, like a very healthy, um, healthy body or healthy, well, healthy life. So let's keep moving forward. Here we have the part of the vegetables. I know that right here we have a lot of vocabulary, but here I would just give you um, some of them. Like the vegetable includes carrots, broccoli, beans, peppers, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, we have onions, we have uh, avocado, but for you guys, avocado, is avocado a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> what do you think? For me, it's vegetable. It is a vegetable? What everyone else say? It's avocado. Is avocado in Spanish. Oh, avocado, that's uh, aguacate. It's vegetable in our country. In our country's vegetable. Okay. But I have heard some people that they still think that avocado is not a vegetable, that is a fruit. Because I don't know if that happens to you, but like long time ago, or my grandma used to do that thing that for example, they just take the, the avocado and they just eat it as a fruit. And I didn't even know like, like if, if it was good, like in that way, or I don't know, some people just eat it like raw, like that. So as I was saying, guys, here we have some, some of them like broccoli, beans, peppers, lettuce, and tomatoes. It says right here that you need green, orange, red, like uh, type of vegetables because we have in a very different color. So that will help you to get some uh, vitamins and some nutrients. So, um, and this part, we also have the fruits, the fruits that we know like strawberries, like bananas, like watermelon, like melon. What else? Apples, oranges, yeah. peaches. Yeah. And what else? Pears. We have uh, kiwis. We also have uh, something, mangoes. We also have, uh, what else? We have, uh, what did I say? Yes. An avocado. N not necessarily an yeah. avocado because some people, um, well, this word right here, apricots. Do you know what an apricot is? I didn't, I, I don't even know what that means in Spanish because when we translate this word apricot, that will be something like um, albaricoque, but I don't even know what that is. I don't know if you know what that is because I don't know what that is even in Spanish. I have never seen something like that because uh, sometimes um, in different countries, they call it in a very different ways, but here in El Salvador, we call it in a very different way uh, because even though we speak Spanish, depending on the place 
you live, you have a very different accent. And that happens to us in El Salvador. Because when you go to the West, some people say some things different. Like, for example, um, I have some family in Tulutan, but, I, but I'm from San Salvador, right? So when I come to visit them, and I remember one time I, I was like requesting for, uh, in San Salvador, we just call them paila, right? to a little plate, right? To a very little plate that we use for tortillas or something like that, right? But when uh, one time that I came here to Sulutan to be with some people, when I request or when I ask someone for a paila, they were giving me a very, very big uh, guacal. For them, it is something completely different. And that happens even in Spanish. So we have a variety of dialects or it's different words that we have even in our same country. So following with the food pyramid, we have the oils. And in this one, it says oils and fats include fried food, butter or margarine, salad dressings and milk fat and milk cheese. For this part, for the oils, we should take, we should be really, really careful because this can be really harmful for us, for our health. So we need to be really careful on that. And uh, it says that children need no more than three servings a day. So it is that also very important. The last, one of the last parts that we have, it is milk, it is calcium rich fluids, that include milk and cheeses, and a calcium builds strong bones and teeth, and it helps your muscles become stronger. And children, they need three cups a day for cheese a day, three times a day. So here we have uh, the last part, meat and beans. Meat and beans uh, give you the protein to, uh, to grow strong muscles and improve brain function. Limit your meats to lean beef, chicken, pork, uh, and you can get a lot of fat with meat. Who likes pork? Do you like pork meat? Because some people do not like uh, the pork meat because they think that it's not good for health. But what do you think? I like meat. You like them? All, all the all kinds of meat? Here in El Salvador, we are used to have like chicken most of the time. Chicken or beef. But pork, uh, pork meat is not that common, but some people still uh, loved eating those type of meats. Uh, well, discretionary calories, uh, these ones are foods that you would like to have, but they don't fit in other categories, uh, like birthday cakes, like ice creams, like candies. It says that you should limit these foods no more than a, a 150 calories a meal or a snack. And we should make wise choices. Well, guys, I know that this topic is kind of, let's say, like kind of weird because it is not something related to grammar or something related to, to the things that we have been checking all these past days, right? Because all these past days, we have been checking like very grammar things. Even yesterday, we saw the adjectives and that is part of the grammar. But today, the topic, it was kind of like completely different, very different than the things that we just see every single day. So, uh, well, let me ask you, is there, is there any question or something that you would like to ask me before we go to some practices? Because this topic is not that big, 
and it hasn't and it doesn't have that much information to share with you and sometimes this information might not be that important for you but i just wanted to ask you do you have any question at the moment no teacher no question so we are going to work on this guys and we are going to go right now one question just go ahead what is your question uh the the after the the what sería del anterior de la de la diapositiva anterior this one una palabra que no sé qué significa por favor sí Wait. correcto <laughs> Donde dice the discretionary, algo así. Discretionary calories. In the question, in the question. What are discretionary calories? Is that? Sí, what are discretion, discretionary calories? Dis discretionary calories uh, is considerada calorías como discretas, digámoslo en este sentido, because uh, they are part of the calories, calories that are not included on the food pyramid. Calorías que no están incluidas en discrecionarias sería la palabra literal, like in Spanish. But, uh, calorías discrecionarias, why? Because these type of calories, este tipo de calorías, are not included on the food pyramid. Están incluidas en la pirámide de la comida. And they give you some examples right there. Te dan algunos ejemplos como pasteles de cumpleaños, sorbetes o dulces. That are things, son cosas que no están incluidas en la pirámide de la comida. That's why they call them discretionary calories. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. So guys, please take a, take a screenshot of this part right now. And let me know when it's done, please. Yeah, teacher. All right. So this part, please. Yeah, teacher. And this one. Puede ponerlo de nuevo. This one. La anterior. This one. This one. Thank you. Thank you. This one. You already did this one. Next. And the last one is this. One. So we have yeah. a lot of to work today. A lot of exercises. Perdón, pero no pude capturar la. La anterior. Ajá, la anterior la pasada. Anterior this, a esa también. This one. La anterior a esa. Yes. No. Exacto. No. The one that is before, do not do not take that. So yes, because, yes, yes. This one? Yes. All right. La que tiene la respuesta quiere. La siguiente. No, no, no es that, que. I'm not going to show you. problemas. <laughs> El Word no me abría. Entonces no lo puedo capturar. La siguiente esta, por favor. Mentira, yes, Mar. <laughs> And this is the last one. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to give you the answers of these two right here. This one that we have right here, because it's not, uh, it's not very good. You cannot distinguish very good what that is. So I will give you these two. This one right here, it is lemonade, limonada. And this one right here, water. Be water. water. Jesus. All right. 
So uh, I will stop sharing the screen. And we're going to go to the break room right now. So we are going to be working on that. Well, yesterday I noticed, guys, that some of you were speaking in English. And even though you didn't know how to say some words or that you were half Spanish or half English, you were talking in Spanglish, but at least you were trying. And that was something really good. I really appreciate that, okay? So if you can do the same right now, like if you don't know how to say something in English, at least try to say it in Spanish, but the most or the most you practice, the better you come. Uh, so let me see right here. Okay, very good. So let's go right now, guys. I will be checking through the groups, okay?
three, ¿qué diría la F quizás? Number three. Um, no, and um, it's a uh, one, it's a letter A. What food? Proteins. Proteínas. Ajá, las comidas que contienen muchas proteínas. Uh -huh. Entonces. Quizás el literal no sé. A, el literal A no. le quedaría más no. adecuado. Okay. Um, cereal, cereal, pasta, rice. Protein and uh, literal aid. Eh, para el para el número tres. Number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, yo pienso que se le quedaría más adecuado. Ya sé, eh, eh, enumeremos la, la pirámide. Vaya, me parece. Ajá, entonces hay que ver cómo los enumeramos para este, uh -huh. um, enumerarlos para, para ser más fácil Vaya. colocar, para avanzar. Eh, number, la, de, de abajo para arriba. Ah, sí, correcto. ¿De dónde está okay. el pan? ¿De dónde está el pan? Que sea sí. el uno. Ajá, vale. el otro cuadrito podría la ser el fruta, La fruta y los y vegetables. Sí, la, 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 ah, a fruta. Vale. Uh -huh. eh, luego en el Two. tres. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y um, queso. Queso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y, uh, y protein eh, cuatro. Fish, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. O ajá. unos, porque, sí, ajá, bueno. uno y, solo. Lo, y la última, o uno solo, nos confundimos. Y la última, que son los dulces, sería cinco. Lo que pasa es que las la, oh. la frutas y los vegetales son como más fáciles de, de recordar. Entonces, un, ah, ok, entonces uh -huh. tres, eh, los entonces, fish, sí. chicken, sería four. Sí, four. sí. Y sí. la okay. en cheese sería... Bye. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Va, empezamos. Entonces, en la, eh, la pasta en el uno. Mira. De leche, queso y margarina. And the one food, a lot of carbohydrates. Uh, cereals, pasta, rice, and bread. Uh, the and number, five. number five. Number five. Mm. What foods or body vitamin in the early? Vegetable and fruits. Five. Okay. Pero. No, la ocho. Eh. Pero uh -huh. la ocho dice que. What else must be to stay in shape? Shape? ¿Qué me dijo que era? Eh, en forma ¿qué ah, más sí. necesitamos para estar en forma? Mm. El lechuga lechuga okay. está arribita del pan ¿es este verdad? Yes. sí okay. 
chicken. Mm. Está a la parte abajo del pescado, del fish. Sería este. Burger. Ah, y abajo está meat, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Yes. Sí. No, pero no está en la... En la... ¿O oh, sí? No, no, no. Vea. ¿En burger? Eh, el burger es la está mantequilla. abajo del ice cream. De ice cream. Sí. 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 Ah, ya sé. Stick, la 12... Está eh, abajo del, de la 7. Stick. Orange. Yo creo que estos. Era, no puedo no hay. Sí, hay pan. El pero pan es, que es la a tres. La parte del, ah, pero es que a la parte del pan están otras cosas. Pero no sé si son donas las que están ahí o, o qué. No, no identifico bien. No, no, pero no hay donas ahí. Donas. Está el pan que es el tres, el arroz que es el cinco, la pasta que es la uno y el cereal que es... El 9. Ah, y, la... y eso que está ahí a la par del pan o antes del pan. Es ¿Qué? arroz. Arroz. Antes, no, antes sí. del pan. Antes del Ay. pan. Ay, que antes del pan no visualizo bien qué es. Es que como que están unas cositas, como unas rueditas, unos círculos. Rosquillas no es... o algo así. Pero y hay rosquillas ahí, vamos a ver. <ríe>
This is a uh, oils. Ah. Uh, Musical orange oil butter. Butter. Steak, meal, bananas, potatoes, cheese. What is this? Las bananas están ahí por donde están las uvas. Arriba del número 13. Bananas number. Uh, Six. Sixteen. Sixteen. This is sixteen. Mm -hmm. This is um, a stick. Mm. Stick and uh, number. The stick uh, is a uh, 14. 14. Uh -huh. Fish, fish is number two. Number two. Yes. Y este limonada también está en la penúltima. Eh, what? Limonada. Ah, sí. Limonada. Uh, ¿Ya la vi? No. Sí, en la, la segunda, de la, en la penúltima. De abajo, para, de abajo para hacia arriba. Se va hasta el final, Ajá. en la segunda línea, pero está de... De derecha a izquierda. De derecha a izquierda. Ay, 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 ay. Uh -huh. Ven. Vaya, pero eso es así, no sé. No, nada. Y mil, y, en, en, y carne, sí, los, eh, eh, que sería mil. Es mil. Mil. Yes. Aquí, eh, ah, la última. Mil. De abajo para arriba. Le preguntamos uh -huh. cuál es la, la que teníamos después de la leche. Las galletitas antes de la burger. Uh-huh. Teacher. Yes. Eh, the question. Eh, antes de burger. Oh, this one. Inicia con B. Con, después de milk. Abajo de cake. Oh, the no son cookies no cookies, cookies pero, pero dice que empieza con la letra b b uh -huh. the one that is next to the barker <laughs> oh. the one next to the barker oh. what Have you ever heard about biscuits? Biscuit. Biscuit. Mm. That it is spelled or we write it like biscuit. Biscuit. Ah, yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you. Um, in two linea, está en la segunda linea. ¿Y qué es? ¿Y qué es? Mm -hmm. Como bizcocho, quizás. Exactly. Ah. It, is, it is similar ah. to that. Similar to that, but in English they call it biscuits to a mix between. Ah, son como, biscuits biscocho. son como galletas. Ah. Como galletas. Exactly. Biscuits. 
como, ah, un, okay. como una mezcla ah, entre galleta y bizcocho. Ajá, bizcocho. Thank you. Biscuits. Water está uno, dos, one, two, three, uh -huh. four, en la fight. Sí, ya la vi. Ya. Yeah. Ya estuvo, yeah. ¿verdad? Ya las encontramos todas, pero. Water, yes. Wow, very smart girl. <laughs> um, okay. Continue in. in, in... There is some rice. rice. Mm -hmm. mm, there are a lot of is un montón. Many eggs. Yo creo que es many eggs. Many, ¿verdad? You are very organized, Mario. <laughs> Thank you. That's very good. Seis ah. letras. Seis burger. Hamburger. Con tres. No, con dos R al final, pero hamburger. Ah, burger. Burger. Sí. Entonces el otro es brea. Ajá, el otro es brea. Eh, Falta el sorbete. Ice cream no lo hallamos. ¿Será que tiene otra palabra? No, porque ahí, dice, ahí están las iniciales. No, ice cream. Ice cream. Ah. Es e sí ay aquí está what water ice one it's e c e cream c r e a m ice cream este como la
well. Okay, guys. So I think that we have enough time to work on these exercises. Probably the most difficult part it was this part. Probably, or I consider that it was this one was the most difficult part. We're just wait, we're going to wait for the other ones. Back to the conference. All right, so uh, let me see. I got, I got here. So I will. We have nine. So I will ask some people randomly, so we can see how well they did in this part. So. It's so let me see. Number one is going to be Miss Kelia. Number two, Angelica. Number three, Hazel. Four, Mario. Five, Eric. Six, Monica Escobar. Seven, Roxana. Eight, Catherine Ramirez. And nine, Tatiana Martin. So can you tell me the answers to this part? Okay, number one, what do you need to learn about to eat healthily? And then letter C, the batteries and quantity of the food we eat. Okay, you said letter C, okay, number two. What do pastries and sweet contain? A high number of calories. Okay, very good. Number three. What foods contain proteins? Fish, meat, eggs. Very good. So it means this Okay, cool. What are dairy foods? Milk, cheese, and butter. Say this one butter. Butter. Yes. Okay. So number five. Number five. Hello, number five. Well, is leather if fruits and vegetable. Fruits and vegetables. Vegetable. Letter F. Very good. So number six. What food contain a lot of carbohydrates? Letter E. Letter E. Cereal, pasta, rice, and bread. Okay. Number seven. What do we need to take into account? Um, letter G the advice of doctor and the truth express. Very good, thank you so much. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight, guys. Any volunteer? Because nobody's saying. How much I need at the same time every day? How must one eat? How much? So at the same time every day. Okay. The last one. Obviously, letter, letter I. Okay, let's see if your answers are like kind of the, in the correct way. C, letter one, letter C, okay. Number two, letter B, okay. Number three, letter A. Number four, milk, five, all right. Wow, okay, very good. Yes, very good job. Congratulations. Very, very, very good. 
All right. I, I consider that this one was going to be kind of difficult. So I, most of the time I see guys that you are sharing the screen. Que siempre tienen una persona que está compartiendo la, la pantalla. So what I'm going to request you, que es lo que le voy a pedir. A la persona que estuvo compartiendo la pantalla y poniendo the answers right here, I will need you to send me through the group in the chat the evidence that you worked on this part, okay? Understood? Okay. All right, perfect. Cada una de las personas que compartió y que estuvo poniendo la pantalla. So please send that image through the WhatsApp group as an evidence, okay? So I can see that your group worked on that, okay? Very good. And also this one, this part as well, because uh, I mean, I think that doing this right now, it will, it will be kind of difficult with the word search, but I think that we can have uh, just the meaning right here. So what is number one, guys? This one right here, what is this? Cake. Cake, Cake. number two. Chicken. 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 Three. Sandwich. Sandwich. Okay. Four. Milk. Milk. Five. Biscuit. Biscuit. Okay. Next one. Burger. 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 Okay. Next one. Coffee. 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 Next one. Bread. 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 Next one. Cheese. 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 Next one. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Next one. Fries. 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 Okay. One. Lemonade. 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 Eggs. 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 Meat. 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 Water. Meat. Water. 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 Rice. 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 Very, very good. Congratulations. Hey, teacher, what, is, what is the difference in meat and steak? Meat. It is the general, la parte general. Cuando decimos carnes, we say meat. Steak, it is, es ese tipo de carne que utilizamos Correct. para asar o para mm. cuando se tienen parrillados. A ese okay. le llamamos steak. Pero cuando decimos Thank meat, that is the word, the whole word in general. Thank you. So guys, the, once again, people who worked or who shared the screens, van a tener que enviarme the evidence that you work in the search for, okay? Please, through the chat. And I consider that this one is really simple, really easy. So number one. ¿Le, le puede enviar todo el archivo o solamente la imagen, la segunda? No, it, it, you can tell me the full, the full image. Okay. All right, okay. no problem. So number one for this one right here. There is an ice cream. There is an ice cream, very good. Next one. There are, there are, there are some. There are some fries, very good. The next one. It is a burger. There is a burger. Next one. There is a meat. Repeat it again. There is a meat. Very good. Okay, next one. There is not much water. There isn't much water. Very good. Next one. There is a cake. There is a cake. Very good. The next one. There is some. Um, there is some rice. Very good. Yeah. Next one. Ah, uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of eggs. Somebody eggs. <laughs> many eggs. And Sorry. this one, we are going to say there are many eggs. Okay, mm -hmm. many eggs. Very good. And the last one. 
Um, there they are. There are some. Some biscuit. Biscuit. There are some biscuits. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys. That was really, really good. So once again, uh, do not forget to keep working on the platform, guys. We are about to finish this module. We just have five classes left and this module will be done. So you need to reach, necesitan alcanzar 80% on the platform. So we can, you have the opportunity to go to the next scholarship, okay? So try to keep working on that. And thank you so much for attending to the class today. So have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You had a teacher. question, Eric? Sí, en mi caso, este, hoy vi que mandaron un correo solicitando la inscripción para, para todos y no aparezco en el listado y ayer o algo así, me, ayer creo que fue que me contactaron por, por WhatsApp e indicaban que no estoy participando en las clases, no sé. All right, let, let me get in contact with them. So let me go, uh, so I will take that into consideration. So I will let them know right now. Well, give me your full name, please. Yes. Eric Alberto Ramirez Portillo. Okay. All right. So thank you for that, Eric. So I will let the human resources, let I will let them know this problem. So I'm just, something happens, I will text you privately, okay? Ok, ya igual ya lo le escribí también y lo reporté en la empresa para, para que verifiquen. Ok, perfecto, no problem. So I will let them know as well. Thank you, teacher. Ok, have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. See you.